everybody. Today I just wanted to come in, stop by to those of Powerfully Me and just talk about body positivity. You know, as being a more mature woman, sometimes, you know, we can become invisible. And as your body matures and ages, things happen, you know. Um, you gain weight sometimes, gravity takes effect, um, and a lot of things happen. And a lot of times, especially mature women, you get to the point where you're not positive about your body and and sometimes you can just feel really negative about your body and you know I just wanted to come on and just talk about that as a woman who is maturing and learning to love my body I'm a plus-size woman as you can see that that is so um, but as I mature and age I'm learning to love this body that carries me because this body is what the Lord gave me. It's what I have to walk this planet and it functions. It moves and it bends and it has maintained and held me for these 57 years that I've been on the planet. And sometimes I think we have to celebrate all that we are in this carriage. Um, and really what it is, is a carriage. This is a carriage, this is what I'm presented to, but who I am is beyond this physical and I'm a spiritual being that is housed in this body carriage. So I just wanna encourage women to celebrate your body. You know, I'm a big girl, no bones about it, but I love my eyes and my lips curly hair, you know, big thighs. I love the the carriage that I'm in. Did I always love the carriage that I'm in? No, I did not. And there are days when I'm going to be so totally honest that I'm not. But I'm learning to love this body, this who I am, that moves and bends and, you know, twists and shakes and satisfies that is all of me that is part of me that is the the being that you see that i'm housed in do i need to take care of this body yes i do do i need to make and do things better in this body to you know just celebrate who i am do i need to honor this body and eat healthy and exercise and keep it moving keep those joints limber yes i do I really do and we all do no matter what size you are we need to honor this body that we're in and take care of it because it's a vessel it's a temple it's the temple that houses your spirit and so you know part of to me part of being body positive is accepting and honoring this temple that houses my spirit and not be so Oh, connected if it's not perfect because uh, I'm perfectly imperfect so are you you're perfectly imperfect and this temple that houses the outside is not even the most important part we dress it up we dress it down we move it and turn it and bend it but the most important part of who you are is what is inside this body your spirit what kind of spirit do you have what are you doing to cultivate your spirit? So, in being body positive, to me, it is honoring this temple, this body that we have, and then, you know, uh, being okay, learning to be okay with what you have, however, and taking it and moving with it. Okay, I got some big arms, and they're a little flabby, you know, but they're mine, and I'm not any more... Uh, gonna feel bad about wearing a sleeveless shirt if it's hot outside I'm gonna show these arms you know and I have big calves and big thighs and it is what it is I'm not gonna starve myself to be a size 2 anymore that's not a possibility yes I can lose some weight yes I can do some other things but I have to be okay with the body that I'm in 
right now at this very moment. And the reality is at 56, no matter how many sit-ups or whatever I do, there is going to be some some changes that go on with the aging process. And I have to honor those too. These wrinkles, this all of this is a part of me because I have lived and lived well. So I honor these. This is me. This is who I am. You know, I um, went to Lane Bryant today, picked up a, a very nice shirt <laughs> that I love. But they also had this magazine. Um, a glamour magazine and I read the back of it and I thought it was so cool and I'm gonna share this with you it says this is my body I live in it love in it work in it all day this body is all of me every curve every roll every day through highs and lows ups and downs this is the body that I embrace to those who doubt what my body can do I say watch me I will show what show you what this body is conquer conventions with who I am this body is beautiful resilient fierce made to turn heads start a revolution get it on go for broke honey this body is made for anything that I want and that so celebrates women in particular, you know, about our, our bodies are beautiful, how they are. They're made beautiful. You know, if they're big, they're small, they're thick, they're thin, they house all of who we are. And we come in different sizes and shapes and we can celebrate that. I think it's so many things to, to take women, to pull them against each other if you acknowledge it. But there's so many things that we can do to celebrate each other. Okay, so you're small and lean and gorgeous. Hallelujah. You're beautiful. So you're big, you're thick, you're curvy. <laughs> You're voluptuous. Hallelujah. You know, and it's just like, you know, you go to the grocery store and you pick out different things. There may be some plums, some watermelon, some steak, some, it's different flavors for different people, for yourself. And that's how the, that's what makes the world more colorful, more beautiful. If we all look the same, acted the same, did the same things. How boring life would be. I am so glad that we're different, but different flavors, different thoughts, different feelings. So I encourage you to celebrate this body that you're in. And speaking of that, um, you know, express yourself and be who you are. Be a maverick. Be bodacious. Be you. Be beautiful. Be powerful. <laughs> As I say, empower for you. And just sharing some things that, you know, um, that I have come across. I went ahead and tried Gwenny B. That may or may not be for somebody. What did I think about it? So far, I thought it's okay. It is the clothing line that you can rent and get designer clothes. And, um, and for some, it may be, and I'm going to put that out there for you to rent. You know, I think I get three out, two outfits a month. You know, you rent it and then you send it back. And I wanted to try it to see. And they've sent me some great things, some great pieces that I've incorporated into my wardrobe and wore them and sent them back. And it's kind of nice. But then for uh, those of you on a budget, you might want to consider that. Because, you know, sometimes there's different things that you can do with your money. And I thought about that. Even for me, there's different things that sometimes I could do with my money besides spending that $79 a month. But for now, I'm enjoying it. It adds some new flavor to my wardrobe um, every two months. I have on a dress now that, and I'm going to stand up so you can see it. I'm going to move my chair out the way. I don't know. You can see it, but it's a very nice dress. It's cool, it's comfortable, it's loose. I'm enjoying it. Um, like the geometric patterns. And I have some other things. Maybe the one, I and they have sent me some really great pieces. Maybe the one thing that I may say 
is that I got two pieces that were winter outfits and this was in spring. So, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and send those back, but they may wanna consider sending sizes and sending clothing um, that's appropriate to the season that it's in. That may be my only complaint about it. And you know, for girls who are watching their budget, is this, you have to ask yourself, is this the best way for me to spend my money? I feel like I'm gonna continue for a few more months and reevaluate whether or not, but it has gave me some great options to think about. So just wanted to bring that up. And then this month, I also wanna talk about one of my favorite things. You know, I'm into oils and I um, love this company called Duterra. And I've gotten a couple of oils and they smell so good. And the oils are essential oils, um, gray therapeutic. I have the one that, I have the oils that kind of go with um, your mood and I bought those and this is Cheer. And I have a, um, you know, I kind of sprinkle it around the house to kind of brighten up. And I do believe it kind of uplifts, it's very, smells great, kind of has a, fruity, woodsy smell, and it just adds a little um, good smell to the day. And I do use a dispenser that squirts it out through the day. Um, and it has other fragrances for other moods. So, and plus some oils are very therapeutic and like lavender is good for it as a disinfectant and plus it's very calming. So, you know, using those essential oils has been good for me for medicinal purposes as well as to kind of uplift my mood a little bit and the mood in my household and have that nice smell and aroma. It just changes the atmosphere a little bit. So I just want to bring up those two things. See what you think about you. Gwenny B and how that would work for you and then the doTERRA oils which I'm loving um, think they're great and they are um, therapeutic blend and pure essential oils not mixed with a lot of chemicals and alcohol and they have been good to have in my environment and for medicinal purposes to kind of use a more natural therapy and then finally as I had started the program with I'm loving this body that I'm in and I'm encouraging you to do the same, to love this body that you're in. Let's take care of this temple that God has placed us in, knowing that it's just a part of us, but not all of us. Just want to leave you with those few things. Be blessed because you are. Be powerful because you are. Be powerfully you. Have a great day. Bye.